Hello guys, Morgan Max here. Uh, so here we are with another video uh, on our series on how to uh, learn how to read the tarot without uh, uh, memorizing the cards. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a card that is usually looked with a lot of um, reverence, for lack of a better term, I would say even uh, fear by some people, if not by most people that are not very familiar with the tarot or they are approaching the tarot for the first time. And of course, I'm talking about uh, Major Arcana number 13 that a lot of people know also as the death card because uh, the symbology here involves a skeleton, so it, it looks like a little bit scary at first. Now, the first thing we have to say about this card is that the term the death card is actually inaccurate. Because if you look at it, um, while in the other cards, let's take for instance anyone, like in this case the Empress, you see that there is clearly the name of the, of the card here, which is clearly indicated, or the Hermit is indicated here. This is the only major arcana in which we don't have any name written underneath. There is only the number, the number 13. So the best way to call this card is actually the card with no name. And this is the way I will refer from now on to this card. So I will call it the um, Major Arcana number 13 or the card with no name, because this is the best way to call it. And so the idea of death associated to this card came actually from the medieval ages and um, with the symbology of the skeleton and which is obviously associated with the end of life. But uh, if you think of it, actually there is not much in this card that um, uh, suggests death uh, as we um, mean it. First off, you know, if it was like a death card, it would be probably a position at the end of the series of the Major Arcana because, you know, Major Arcana represent a, a, um, um, a journey, uh, a journey that starts from the uh, full and goes uh, to the end. So if the end of a um, journey is the death, you know, the physical death, probably this card would be the last major arcana in the series, whereas it's actually pretty much in the middle of the series. If you think we have 21 major arcana plus one, so 13 is pretty much in the middle. So clearly this is not a death uh, significance. The other thing we have to notice is that even the figures that are at the bottom of this card, so these two heads, are not really decomposed heads. They're, they're, they look pretty formed, pretty normal. They even have hair, they even have a crown here. And also if you look at what we have, so we have like hands, and then we have a foot here. They don't look like they are completely rotten and uh, decomposed, but they, they are still fleshy. The other suggestion that this is not a death card is the fact that the color of the skeleton is not like white, like bones, but it's actually more pinkish, so more fleshy, so to speak. And remember that the pink color in the tarot is always um, associated with uh, um, organic life. And then you also have a little bit of blue here, in light blue in the spine and in the, in the hip. Uh, that is usually associated with uh, a receptive type of activity. So it's, it's certainly, in order to be receptive to something, you have to be alive, first of all. So it's not a death uh, indication. Uh, this blue color is also in the, um, in the very cutting uh, part of this sickle, in the sickle itself. And you see in the blade that the blade is blue and it's red. So this indicates that clearly there is some um, need to be receptive, so to be open to the suggestion of this um, um, instrument here. And there is also the bloody red, which indicates that whatever is indicated by this um, blade here needs to occur like in a sudden way, in a, in a fast way. And clearly what is indicated here overall, so the, the general action of this uh, skeleton here, is to uh, cut things away, so to cut abruptly, to cut in a fast way. So the best keyword for this uh, card actually is not death, um, or not necessarily that, but it's actually um, a change, a change from the status quo, from how things were before. 
and this is indicated by the activity of the skeleton which is actually using this um, blade and this sickle here to uh, cut away to um, eliminate what's unnecessary what's a surplus what is just too abundant so the the main uh, message from this card is actually that it is the time to get rid of everything that is uh, unnecessary and so get ready for a change that is another keyword that has to happen uh, in a sudden and in a fast way so it's really like a, a, a clear cut it's not something that leaves leftovers or uh, um, an intermediate situation this is a cut that is uh, very clean very uh, defined and very complete and you have to be ready for that that's why there is the blue in the blade it indicates that you have to be receptive so you have to be prepared for this change to happen so this is the main message of this card now having said that you know there are certain situations based on the type of uh, spread and the surrounding cards in particular that could actually give to this very card also a meaning of um, sickness of disease of perhaps even physical death but this is not at all the main meaning of the card or the one that you should refer to and use uh, in the majority of cases that's what i'm trying to say another uh, good um um, example another good meaning for this card is also um, derived by the color of the field where this action occurs so you see the field is completely black it's one of the few cases in which you have this strong black field in the major arcana and this indicates that it's the black of um, it, it, the black indicates, you, you know, it's the color of darkness, of death in a way, but also could indicate a very uh, rich type of dirt, of ground, very uh, rich in fertilizer in a way. So it's very well fertilized. So the activity of this um, character here is also um, working this ground to make it more uh, prepared for the next um planting for the next seeding activity so in other words this card also indicates that you have to change in order to uh, make uh, this ground what you have available work for you and get prepared for something that, that needs to be uh, harvested later on at the same time you know the sickle itself could also indicate that you are already harvesting some of these um Plan, of what you have planted so you know it's time also to collect to gather to harvest what you have uh, seeded before that is really one of the main messages of this card and uh, you know in in some reading this card could also indicate um, the expression of uh, a lot of uh, uh, anxiety that you have inside of you that could actually come out some, uh, with some sort of venting and so indicate perhaps that it's time to be uh, to release your anger your um, um, your rage your inner rage and uh, in this sense it's important to see which card will be um, at the right side of the major arcana number 13 because that card indicates what the rage is about so why are you angry what are you angry about what makes you um angry uh, so and this is related as you know to, to the fact that when you have a theological duo so two cards together you have to interpret them also based on the way they look at each other or the direction of the look so this is just uh, um a brief description which i hope will help you remember the, the main meaning of this card and, and i want to you to get rid of uh, you know the, the old um folkloristic um um aura that has always been around the major arcana number 13 oh my god it's the death so it it, it, it you know indicates that it will be like some very dark event uh, on the way uh, it can mean that too but it has to be in the context of a very clear and um very um specified um spread you know in which this card by itself is not enough so to speak to anticipate like a death or a major um negative event in a person's life the most likely um uh, 
me the most important meaning you should actually um, give to this card is uh, uh, the meaning of change being receptive so open to a change that is happening or has happened in a sudden and abrupt way and the fact that you can actually with this card be ready to harvest what you have planted so be ready actually to get some of the fruits uh, of what you uh, previously did of your previous efforts great so i hope that you liked also this episode on uh, major arcana number 13 and uh, if so uh, so um, give me a thumb up remember that is important and subscribe to my channel um, and also hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload the next video as usual if you have any questions so feel free to um, uh, use the com the comment box below it can be related to this video or previous ones and to get in touch with me and to learn how to read the tarot with me um, so check my websites and you will find the links in the description box below as usual and until next time let the cars be your guide <laughs>